All right, everyone, welcome to another video today. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about alternatives to Microsoft Office. Now, when I say alternatives to Microsoft Office, everyone probably thinks right away of OpenOffice or LibreOffice. Those are the two free Office programs that are really well known to everyone. Well, today I'm gonna to talk about a different program that I think resembles Office a lot better than those and functions a lot better than those, but it is also free. So today we're gonna to be talking about WPS Office. So, to get started, why don't we just uh, go to their website quick here and take a look at what it looks like and I'll direct you how to get there. So, you just open up your web browser and go to WPS.com or just Google WPS if you can't find it. And once at the website here, you then navigate over to Windows and once at Windows, you can then download WPS Office for free or you can download the beta and that's in this case I'm testing out the beta today because it's in beta 3 I figured we'll just go ahead and uh, test it out so that's probably the beta 3 is probably going to be released so that's why we're doing that all right anyways let's go ahead and start with the test for the test platform today I'm using a Windows 8.1 installation that is fully patched and up to date on a virtual machine running in VMware so let's go ahead and we will start the installation. The installation file is 61 megabytes. So pretty small for an office suite. And we're gonna uncheck uh, PC faster. That's just a free program that's gonna get installed alongside it. If you don't uncheck that, it's gonna slow your system down really, add more stuff to your system that you don't need. So that's pretty much it. Um, so all right, we're extracting the installation files. The installation here should only take a couple minutes. Um, it's funny, I installed this on Windows 10 earlier and I think it went faster than it actually is right now on Windows 8, so that's quite interesting to notice. So I have installed on my computer currently Microsoft Office 365, which comes with five licenses. However, some of my relatives have are using currently WPS Office. Uh, WPS Office has also been called Kingsoft in the past, so some of you may recognize it by that name. But nevertheless, it has been changed to WPS Office. Okay, so the installation has now been completed. Uh, you can now click uh, No Thanks on this window right here. It's just going to try and get you to install more stuff. You don't need it. Uh, it's unnecessary. It's just bloatware. Go ahead and click no thanks. And as you can see, it loads up the Office program right away. Uh, and as you can see, we have templates right here that are being downloaded currently. Now, I, like I said, it was going a lot faster. It's interesting how it's going faster on Windows 10 than it is on Windows 8. But nevertheless, you do have templates right here that you can um, download. But in the case for this test here, what we're gonna do is we are going to um, load up a new document. So to do that, you just click on the plus right here and it gets you a new document. You have multiple tabs up here so you can open up multiple documents and sift through on a tab type of view, which is kind of nice. I know Office doesn't really offer that. You can close them out by clicking the X or you can close up the templates area. If you click on Writer up here, you got a nice drop down menu similar to Office 2007, 2010. Uh, if you notice before we even went there, you have the ribbon right up here, kind of that ribbon style that Office introduced back in 2007. And I think it's very nice. I got used to it quite quick and found that you can easily find commands a lot easier than uh, necessarily the old fashioned uh, standard view that they used with the buttons and dialog boxes. So let's go to options here and change a few settings. So now when I install this program, I go to general and save and then the first thing I do is I change the default uh, file basically type, de default file type I should call it actually, uh, to the newest version of Office which is .docx from the .docs. So I end up clicking that right there. So it's a 2007 to 2010 format. It um, is a smaller file size and it also uh, is more compatible with the newer Office programs. So that's why I changed that. And then what you can do is you can click OK. If you want to change the style of Office, you go right up here to the little T-shirt and you can select from these three styles. You get the classic style, which resembles uh, basically Office 20 or 2003 and earlier. And then you get the ribbon styles right up here. You can have the elegant black or the bl uh, water blue. So I'll change it to water blue and you have to close it out and reopen it. And there we go, we change it to water blue. 
So now, and it's interesting, those loaded up faster that time. So um, let's go ahead back to options here. And let's say you don't like how the templates load each time. What you can do is you can go to general and save right up here. And you can go on start with, instead of home page, click new document. And now every time you open the program, it'll open up a new document instead of that start page. This is how I run the program on other people's computers. I find it a lot easier instead of having to constantly go to write or new or just click on the new button right there. You're obviously opening it up because you want to type something and well, there you go. If you want to get to templates, you can always get to that later. Um, I don't know exactly how to get to it. New default template, no. Yeah, there's a way to do it, but usually I don't use templates that much. So um, yeah, you can always just put the setting back if you need to. Otherwise, um, you can always look it up online. I haven't really uh, looked that up ever because I never use templates. So. Uh, if you click that, yeah, it just opens up a new document. You close that. Out. Oh, if you close that out, um, you can basically new from uh, templates here, and you can get your templates back. So that's how you can do that. So pretty easy. But let's also check out some of the other um, features within Word here, quick. So in Office, obviously, you got different tabs. We look up here, and you have Insert, and you can obviously insert page breaks, uh, stuff like that, pictures, shapes. You got those still. Word art. Wow, that looks. Uh, pretty similar to uh, some things in Microsoft, doesn't it? You can insert watermarks right here, symbols, equations, the basic stuff. So it's pretty good. Go to page layout, margins, orientation. You get all that there. References, review. This comes complete with spell check. Uh, you can change the view of the document as if you were in Word. So, and you even get a couple of additional features. Um, file roaming, I don't know exactly. Files are open when automatically roamed in the cloud. Okay, so um, basically it's kind of like an autosave feature from my reading right there. And it also does, they've introduced in the 20, 2014 version cloud access, similar to uh, Office's OneDrive, or Microsoft's OneDrive, I, I should say. You can also find and replace as if you were in Word. You have different styles you can choose from. You can change the defaults on here. So let's say you go to settings, you go to font. And then let's say we want to change our default font. We can go to, um, I got to change it first actually. Let's say you want to change it so it's more like uh, Office, let's say. You can change it to Calibri. So you find Calibri right here, somewhere, anywhere. Oh, where, where am I? There we go. And then we change it to, let's say, font size 11, because that's the default log uh, in Office. And then we can go ahead and click on defaults uh, and click on OK. Oh, I'm, I, I did that wrong. <laughs> wow, what a great tutorial, huh? Here I am screwing everything up. Uh, you have to go up to this one right here and change it up here. So let's go for Calibri again. Calibri, and here it is. We can go to font size 11, defaults, and there we go. So now we just change the default font to uh, Calibri instead of Times New Roman and font size 11. So it, you pretty much got the same features as if you were in Office. Let's take a look at Excel here, or it's called WPS Spreadsheets. And once again, you pretty much see it as similar as Excel. You got your auto sum here, auto filter, rows and columns. You can insert rows, you can insert cells, find and replace, worksheet settings right there. If you go to insert, you can insert a chart pie line area, you can um, do a donut, scatter graph, shapes right here, text, you got word art once again, uh, header and footers, page layout, relatively the same, you can adjust your margins, print area, formulas, for you Excel users, this is probably going to be your favorite area, uh, as the formulas tab, data, you can set up data filters and, and organize data a lot more easy, you got the ascending, descending, so you can see it's very, very similar to Excel. This is about the closest uh, Office, alternate, alternative Office program I've seen that closely resembles Microsoft's. So let's go ahead and close that out. And last but not least, we have Presentation, the ultimate presentation program, otherwise known as PowerPoint. So that's what this is their version of PowerPoint. Once again, you can actually package it as a file now if you wanted. So I know in Office, you can um, package it into a video file, which is really nice, a WMV, 
looking across the home tab here, we got shapes once again. You can insert pictures, you can arrange. You got the new slide button right here. You can duplicate slides, add a new slide. Insert tab right here. We got um, tables, so you can insert a table if you want to, like so. And then as an office here, you have table tools, table style, that kind of thing. So you get those tabs that appear and disappear as you need them. And that applies for all the programs across WPS2, I believe. So if we go to design here, you can obviously insert a design. If you select something here like the table, we can obviously uh, delete the table. They don't have that many designs, but I think you can get more designs online. I'm not certain on that, but I believe you can. Uh, animations, I think there's the same protocol there too. You can get more animations online. So that's kind of nice. Uh, you can customize animations. Animations. Uh, let's see what else. What else? Slideshow. We got slideshow settings. This is, I think, is the exact duplicate of Microsoft slideshow settings. Uh, it might be a few differences, but for the most part, I think it's the same. Review. Once again, you get spell check, uh, comments, delete comments, stuff like that. View, and that's pretty much it. So. Um, the only difference is in the general settings here for the file formats that it's uh, the formats that the file or presentation is saved in, I should say. It just is basically WPS presentation file or PowerPoint presentation file. So I leave it as PowerPoint presentation file because let's say you want to save a presentation and go to like a building or a building. It probably is going to be in a building. I hope it's in a building. Jeez. Um, you're probably going to go to like school or an event at work or something like that where you're going to end up working on the presentation at home and then bringing it over to your place of work or study. So uh, that is basically it. I just wanted to uh, show you guys what I use for Office. I will post a link to how to download Office or WPS Office in the description. So you can go ahead and download this if you want. Like I said, this is still in beta technically, but from what I can see, it is working perfectly fine. I have installed the beta two actually on some people's, uh, some relatives' computers, and they have not complained whatsoever on it. So it seems to be a pretty stable beta uh, that they're, they're that they have out there. So that's gonna be it for this video. Next, uh, see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed this one. Let me uh, know, comment, subscribe, and that'll be it. So talk to you guys later.